Hi, Shelley from Spin Cushions here, or Crochet Designs by Shelley Husband. Today we're going to do the classic circle to square. So we have some interesting work around here, but everything else is fairly straightforward. So, find my yarn, and let's get started. All right, so there's no corners in the first three rounds. We're just going to work straight stitches. So start with our yarn, our hook with a slip knot, and then we're going to chain one. And all of our first round stitches will be into that chain. Then we chain three to pre our first stitch. Then we're going to do 11 stitches in that first chain. So 11 plus this chain three make 12 stitches. So into that first loop there. So that's one. I will do 11. You don't need to watch me do that. And I'll show you how to join up and continue on. All right, 12 stitches, including that starting chain done. I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to our first, the top of our third chain. And we continue on with round two. In round two, we're just going to do two stitches in every stitch, but we need to start with chain three, just represent our first stitch. And we do one in the same place we joined to the slip stitch. Now, if you just use the top loop, like I recommend, it's nice and clear where to work that stitch. And then it's just two in every stitch all the way around. So two in one stitch. So we've just done one. So we go in the same hole to do another one. We do the same thing all the way around. So we're going to end up with 24 stitches this time. One, two. So I'll do that and show you what happens next. All right. All my stitches are done. I just need to join with a slip stitch to the top of my third chain. And we'll go on to round three. Again, we start with chain three. Here's our starting chain. We do a stitch in the same stitch. Now this time, we're just going to do one stitch in the next stitch. So we've got two stitches, one stitch. So we're going to alternate around two, one, two, one. So two in the next stitch. One, two, one in the next stitch, two in the next stitch. You should have uh, 36 stitches at the end of this round. It's important that you make sure you do, otherwise squaring off in the next round won't work. So I'll keep going and then I'll show you what happens at the end. Okay, I've been all the way around, I have my 36 stitches, so now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of my third chain, and we are ready to square off. Okay, so the next round we're going to do lots of different stitches along our sides. You just need to take it slow and take your time and you'll be fine. So we start with chain three as our starting chain. We're going to do a stitch in the same stitch as our slip stitch, which is that big hole there. Now we're going to do a stitch, normal stitch, in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a half stitch in the next two stitches. One half stitch, two half stitches. Then we're going to do a smaller stitch in the next two stitches. One, two. Then we're going to do a half in the next two. One. Two, then we'll do a normal stitch in the next stitch and in the next stitch we're going to do our cor corner which is two stitches chain two two stitches all in this same stitch one two chain two and then two more stitches in that same stitch seems crazy but it works trust me all right, now because we've got two lots of terminology, I'm going to do this side in using UK terminology and then I'll do another side using US. Okay, so UK terminology, treble in the next stitch, half treble in the next two, double crochet in the next two, half treble in the next two, Then a treble in the next stitch. Then we do our corner. 
which is two treble, two chain, two treble. Or if you're US, it's two doubles, chain two, two doubles. All right, I'll just finish that corner off. And now I'm going to talk in US terms. So we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to do a half double in the next two. One, two. Then we're going to do a single in the next two. One, two. Then we're going to do a half double in the next two. One, two. Then we're going to do a double in the next stitch. Just one. And then we do our corner in the next stitch. So I'll do that and do that last side and show you what happens next. Okay, I've done it all the way around. I just need to do two stitches in the same stitch as our first stitch. So if you have a look, there's our chain three and that's our first stitch. So at the base there, that hole there is where we are going to work our last two stitches to finish off that first corner. Looks a bit weird, but trust me, it'll all work fine. Then we're going to chain one and join with a double crochet UK, single crochet US to the top of our third chain. And then the next two rounds are really, really easy and you've done it all before. Chain three, starting chain, stitch over the joining stitch. Then it's just a single stitch in every stitch along and in the two chain spaces, two, cha two stitches, chain two, two stitches. The same for both rounds, you're just going to have more, more stitches in round six. So I will go all the way up to the end of round six and show you how we finish it off. And here we are at the end of round six, just two solid rounds, five and six. Just do two stitches in the same place as my first stitches here. Then I'm going to chain two and join with a slip stitch to the top of my third chain. That's that. Now, if you're following on with Granny Square Academy, you'll know that this week, um, this part, I mentioned how to change colours because this is a perfect square to practice changing colours. It's great having a circle in one colour and squaring off in a different one. So have a go at that if you're following along and I hope you've learned something new. So that's part seven of Granny Square Academy done. Circle Cindy. I will see you soon if you're continuing on um, if you don't know what granny square academy is head to spincushions.com and check the granny square academy tab thanks very much bye